Hey girls and guys and peoples and gentlemen, whatever you are, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nelly and I'm back again with another video today. I went to Sephora and I picked up some products that I've always wanted to try or some products that's really new on the market. Most of them are new. Um, oh yeah, I just came from upstairs. Yeah, I'm tired. Okay. <laughs> Okay, but without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm going to be listing the prices of everything and all that stuff on the side. So don't worry about all that if I don't actually talk about the prices. I just wanted to get into the actual look and see how everything is. And if you want to see how I achieve this, it's really simple, you know. Highlight, popping. <laughs> I'm feeling myself, y'all. <laughs> so if you want to see a review slash demo um i'm also gonna post what my face looks like at the end of the night so if you want to see all that stuff definitely please stay tuned and don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you okay so i went ahead and did my brows and my mascara off camera there's really no um new product that i picked up that i was really interested in getting so the first new product that i picked up is the milk hydro drip primer so i got a mini bottle which i will list the price and everything somewhere on the screen um but i did go ahead and try this yesterday because i was just super excited super impatient i'm like okay let me try this primer so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply it it does say to apply to clean dry skin and to wait about a minute for it to settle in so i'm just gonna take um this is two pumps so this is one two pumps of it i really can see that and i'm gonna go ahead and apply it all over my face I think I might need an extra pump um but I love the consistency of it it's really easy to move to apply to your face it's super super tacky um like even right now I can still feel the tackiness already I feel like it's already dried down it's super tacky easy to move on easy to glide on to the face and I'm just gonna let it sit for one minute and then I'll be right back. So next we're gonna go in with foundation. I'm not gonna color correct because to be honest, I really don't need to when I haven't been doing that except for this one pimple, but we'll see if this foundation is good enough to cover it. So I'm gonna be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is my first high-end foundation, like $64, almost passed out. So this is my first high, high-end foundation that I've ever purchased and I'm super excited to try it out. So this is what it looks like. Packaging, frosted bottle, black top. I'm hoping it did, I think it did have a pump. I do love that it has a little Giorgio Armani symbol right here. I got the color 9. A little focus. I purchased it in the color 9. I forgot what other color I tried, but I was kind of in between shades, so hopefully this will work for me. And that's the thing with me and foundation. Um, I do look like I have golden undertones, but I mix with golden and neutral. So half the times it's really hard for me to find my exact match. I'm usually in between foundations and stuff like that. So let's remove it. It does come with a pump right here. And I'm going to use the Morphe M439 brush. It's just a flat foundation brush. And I'm really hoping that this foundation and primer really sits well together. I'm going to go in and I got to with one pump, which is like a nice size amount. It's coming off a little bit watery. So let me just get my brush a little wet first. Um, and let's go in with this baby. So come closer to you guys and zoom in a little bit. See, I feel like this color. Let me blend it out. Let's see. Full we'll focus. Okay, let me shake this up because this color so far is not working. It's very neutral. And this is what I'm talking about, I think. And I got matched in store as well. And from the lighting in Sephora, this just looked like, it, well, it's matching, it's matching my neck. So this blended out really well. So let's go in with another pump. So that's just that part. Let's go in on 
this side and see what we're working with. So I do love how easy it is to just blend in to your face. Okay, so I don't know how I feel about this foundation to be honest you guys. I'm a matte full coverage girl on um, my skin right now. I do like how my skin looks. It's really dewy, really glowy. That's all I can say. I don't know. We'll see at the end of this. I felt like I had a really difficult time. Um, the color for me too. I'm not really loving the color. I wish it was a little bit more golden. But let's move on. I'll have more to say later. The next thing I bought was the Huda Beauty Concealer. This is the color Caramel Corn. Um, I'm really concerned right now because this is for a highlight and I feel like my face is already light. I don't know you guys. I'm just not feeling I'm not feeling this right now. So if my energy went down y'all I'm, I'm really just not feeling how the color of this foundation like it matches really well. I feel like you know you can't really clock a girl like that. Can y'all clock me? I don't think I can clock me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this um, Huda Beauty concealer. I've heard great things. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it. Ooh. See, and you could tell you see how much more like that's a little bit yellow. Yeah, I'm like yellow. This is I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm not even sure I'm supposed to how I'm supposed to even use this thing. So I feel like I applied way too much. And it's like, is it lighter? It is a little bit lighter than the foundation. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with a I'm actually gonna try Let's do a, I'm doing the Morphe M173 brush first. On, I'm going to go in on this side and start blending. I'm liking the way it's blending. It's really melting into my skin. Um, you guys can see it will focus. But I'm really liking the way it's blending so far. The coverage is bomb. Coverage is really great. I may have put on a little bit too much, but I'm really loving the coverage so far. Wow. You guys see that? I love, 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 love. Loving the coverage so far. And I'm probably even going to go over a little bit with my sponge just because I put on too much so the sponge should kind of take up a little bit of the product. But actually I may not even need my sponge. What do you guys think? So I really love, like look at it. That looks really good. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and blend out the other side and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm starting to lay my face now. You can still see my glow, of course. But this looks bomb and it hasn't started creasing yet. Nothing's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some powder. I didn't pick up her, the powder line or Fenty's powder line. It completely slipped my mind while I was in there. But I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier um translucent powder and I'm just going to go ahead and bake again my sponge is damp so I like to start by just pressing it in so I'm just going to let this sit and bake for a couple of minutes and then I'll be right back the next product that I have to try out um which I'm not really sure how to use this I'm just going to go ahead and use it how I think it's supposed to be used this is the Kat Von D um lock it powder foundation super cute love it it's gonna be in the color tan tan deep 190 and i'm just gonna go ahead and take this morphe y2 brush to apply some of it and how do you even open it i love the packaging though like come on cat let's go i love her lock it foundation that's my go-to foundation it looks like this. The pattern is super nice with the red in the inside. This is really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and apply it to all the places that I did not highlight. That just brings some warmth back to my face. I added a lot of coverage, a lot more coverage to my face. I'm going to add too much. But it did warm up my face a lot. I think I'm fine with this. 
Okay, I'm liking this. I could definitely rock with this. It's something that you could also wear on your own as well, so you don't have to um, use it how I'm using it. It definitely add more warmth to my face and a little bit more coverage as well. If you guys could see that as I'm turning, I'm just get a little closer to update you guys and how you guys and how my face is looking. Um, I like it. I could rock with it now. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, like. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. So the new product that I picked up was the Fenty Beauty. This little baby right here, packaging on point. It is the color Bahan Gel. Bajan Gel, Bahan Gel, Bahan Gel. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this little baby right here, I love it. I use it as one of the products that I also used already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it on the M Morphe M527 brush and just bronze up my face okay so that's that for the bronzer definitely added some warmth to my face product that i picked up was the tarte blush and captivating it's an amazonian clay 12 hour blush it's this peachy toned color i only grabbed like i had the anastasia beverly hills peachy love trio little palette and I love peach blushers. I haven't tried any pink ones, so I gravitated towards this. I'm going to go ahead with this Morphe E4 brush. It's this angled brush. And tap into that. And how's that, baby? I need a bigger mirror. Hold on. Why do a little? Just take that, and I like to sweep it back. I blend it out seamlessly color is not too bright which i love i don't really love a really like in your face packing brush um blush as i'm blending everything nothing it doesn't really upset everything that's already on my face so i went ahead and did my hair and everything put some new earrings in and now we're just going to recap everything so i'm really <laughs> I'm really feeling this like okay so let's start off with the Giorgio Armani foundation the color I think I kind of want the darker color because it's always kind of easier I don't know I prefer the darker color but I actually think this color matches with my neck perfectly I'm not gonna lie but as far as my face it scared me for a little bit applying it with the brush I don't know if I'm feeling that. I liked it better when I went over with the sponge. I just think I have to just try it a couple more times and sorry, ooh, and see how I felt about it. I already put this away, y'all. My bad. But the milk primer, y'all. This is gonna be my primer of the summer. Now the Tatcha primer, love it, but I'm gonna need to take a back seat in the back <laughs> and this is gonna be my new primer for a little bit. It's super tacky and sticky. And this foundation, everything worked really well with it. Everything blended really well. Yesterday, I, I tried this with the Kat Von D foundation yesterday. And it worked bomb. My face was a little bit oily after a little bit. But granted, it was 100 degrees outside. Okay, that's what, that's what we're dealing with. But I love this primer. It grips onto everything. And I work at a call center. So I'm talking on the phone all day. And yesterday, I had no like laugh lines or smile lines or anything like that. And that's usually what I have to worry about with these um with my primer even my touch up primer sometimes after a while i get like lifelines so primer bomb what else new did we try okay so this tarte blush i love it it's so subtle it's peach it's buildable it blends flawlessly into my skin i thought i was gonna have to return this but <laughs> i'm gonna just put this in my drawer you know <laughs> i'm loving it so i'm definitely gonna keep this and hold on to this um so next the fenty beauty bronzer okay baby really like this it's buildable it glides on perfectly it's a subtle little bronze bronze type of glow thing it's nothing too crazy because the bronzer has always been something that i've been like scared of especially when you contour you're like okay you don't want to like look like you got like doodle on your face okay but i love this i love the packaging it's super cute it's super compact i love it I'm a fan. I might even go back and get a darker shade so I could contour with that. That's how much I love this product. So next, what do we have? We have the, I went ahead and packed up like I was ready to go, okay. <laughs> 
So I went ahead and tried the Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation. I love this actually. This is my first time trying a powder foundation. Even though everyone considers the MAC Studio Fix, they consider this a powder foundation. But this, the coverage was bomb. Like I wish I even had zoomed in a little bit more, came closer. But it definitely um, added a little more warmth to my face because this foundation was really scaring me. But the coverage was bomb. It's completely buildable. I love it. I'm definitely going to come back and probably test it on its own and um, just do a little bit more in-depth review on it because this is so compact, especially if you're on the go and you just need to touch up. This is great. I love it. Do your thing, cat. Like, I really had really high hopes for it because I use the Locket Foundation on a weekly basis. Um, that and hourglass is what I use throughout the week so I was really glad to see that that powder was consistent with the foundation what else did I try that was new? I thought that was it right? no okay the huda 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 all up in my curl <laughs> okay <laughs> so the huda beauty foundation can I get demon? I can't even get monetized let me shut up this is the huda beauty foundation the overachiever concealer y'all so one of my things that I really wanted to get into was a full coverage concealer. I've been rocking with the Born This Way My High Sculpting Concealer. Love them, but I'm going to do a little park on the side and let this baby come over, give this baby a spot because the coverage, let me even, let me even just do a quick look to see if I'm creasing or anything. But the coverage was so bomb. It blended, blended beautifully into my skin. Um... Actually, hold up, y'all. If I come, let me come closer. Hold on, let me get. Y'all see? Focus. Baby, can you focus? See that on me? It's settling into my lights. I don't like that, huh? I don't like that. And that could also be because I probably took too long to set it. But the coverage is bomb. But I really, it's settling into my lines right now. And it could also be because I put on way too much. Okay, so I'm probably going to come back and try that one again. Because I put on, I don't know what I was doing. I was lost. But that could be also because I put on way more than I needed. And I kind of took a, kind of blended everything out first. Took my time before I went ahead and applied that powder. But the Huda Beauty, Huda, 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 it's bomb. I don't even know where I put it, y'all. It's gone. Okay, it's right here. The Huda Beauty Concealer is bomb. The packaging is definitely different, though. I like I like it for putting it on underneath the eyes. I don't know so much about how I like it for, like, the forehead, like, right here by the brows and the nose. I don't know how much I like the applicator tip for that. But that was that. And what else did I have? Ooh, the, um... The dip brow gel, I recommend buying this, especially if you're just now starting out with brows. It's, it has a mascara on, so all you have to do is really brush your brows into place. It will have that product coming out as well, so it's just like, it kills time for everything. Even though I'm still extra and I still go ahead and I combine it with the dip, prom, dip pomade and then I go in with this. But this is literally all you need to do your brows, especially if you're just starting. So I love that. Really sorry if anyone didn't use it on camera, but if you want me to, I can definitely go back into that for you guys. Um, but that's pretty much it. I didn't use anything new. I bought this beauty blender. I got this random sample. I'm definitely going to do a separate skincare video because I got some skincare stuff as well. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. But that's it, you guys. That's all. And my face is looking bomb. I... What was that? I'm loving it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for totally watching that video. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop y'all, but thank y'all for watching that video. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. Let me know if you have the Giorgio Armani foundation. How do you incorporate it into your routine? What do you use with it? Um, let me know if there's any product that you want me to actually test out and try. If you've tried these, you want to try these, it's too expensive. What you thought about everything, just let our girl know down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I am most active on there if you ever want to keep up with me. I do post many tutorials on there um you know mini instagram story stuff i have a lot of that stuff on there as well so if you guys want to see that definitely follow me on instagram again don't forget to like comment subscribe show you guys some love and peace out